Good afternoon, fourth grade. Today we're going to continue reading And Where the Mountain Meets the Moon, and we're going to um, read chapter 22. And so before we get started, you have a quick write. It says, have you ever wanted something, something so badly that you were willing to do anything to get it? What was the situation, and how did you handle it? Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the focus question. How does Min Lee respond to challenge? And what does her response reveal about the theme of the text? Our vocabulary words are the same and we will want to review them for today because you will see them again in parallel teaching. The first word is empathy. That's when you understand how someone feels. Draw a line from the word empathy to the picture. The second one is perseverance. That's when you try and try and you do not give up. That's this person on the stairs, draw a line. And then the last word is clever. That's when you are quick thinking and smart. And we have a picture of the owl. Turn the page in your notes and get ready to start reading chapter 22 on page 126. And we are going to use our CSPS strategy as we read. I'm at Min Lee. Min Lee shook herself from her shock. The king, Min Lee said. I can't lose him now. And in a panic, she began to run after the tattered figure. And it was quite the chase, or it would have been if the beggar had realized he was being followed. He wove in and out around people and bins of rice, each step taking them closer to the unused areas of the city. Behind a pile of discarded baskets, Min Lee thought she had lost him, but luckily the gray sleeve of his loose jacket waved at her, and she saw him round the walled corner of the inner city. As an abandoned wagon hid her from his view, she saw him push against a portion of the wall. With a slow groan, the wall moved. It's a secret door to the inner city, Min Lee gasped and she was able to reach it just before it closed completely. With both hands, she pressed hard against it, and the door pushed open. We'll stop right there because we have information about our character. Um, in this first paragraph, we learned that Min Li chased the king down the street. And we would write that down in the first part of box one, Min Li chased the king down the street. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the quote. And we would write down this quote that says, And in a panic, she began to run after the tattered figure. Silently write that down in the second part of box one. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the setting. For our setting, we know that um, Min Lee is chasing the king through the through the market to the wall of the inner city. So we would write down in box two, Min Li chased the king through the market to the wall of the inner city. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the quote. And we would write down this quote on page 127. It's a secret door to the inner city, Min Li gasped and she was able to reach it just before it closed completely. Press pause to write down your answer in the second part of box two and play when you're ready to keep reading. We're gonna keep reading in the middle of page 127. And like a lid of a jewelry box, the door opened into a landscape of radiant colors. The bamboo, pine, and plum leaves seemed to shine in the sun as if carved from the emeralds and the accents of the pink and red flowers were like nestled rubies. Steps away from her feet, Min Li could see a patterned pathway made of water-worn pebbles. The central jade green lake mirrored the arching tiled roofs of the pavilions and the rough beauty of large weathered rock sculptures. A winding cover walkway lifted up from the cloudy water like a lotus flower. It could only be the palace garden. But Min Li barely noticed this. Instead, she stood with large eyes staring at the figure in front of her. 
The beggar was wiping his face with a delicate white cloth, and then Lee saw again that he was not an old man at all. In fact, turn the page, he was younger than Ba. The gray of his hair was wiped away with the cloth as well, and his beard and head were as glossy black as Min Lee's. His gray rags had been cast off in a pile next to him, and he was clothed in a bright yellow silk, the color of the sun. Intricate dragons and multicolored clouds that matched the designs of the gold bracelet he wore were embroidered on his robe and glittered in the light. There was no doubt now that he was the king. Then the king turned around and saw her. At his gl glance, Minli shrank to the ground in a humble kowtow. Your majesty, she breathed, and her knees could feel the thumping of her heart in her chest. Caught! Min Lee heard him say, and she peeked up to see the king looking at her with the same amused expression he'd had as a beggar watching the people eat the peaches. He shook his head at her, and his eyes twinkling at her could have been the young father of one of her village friends. And by you, he said, my little benefactor, I knew you were a clever one. We'll stop right there, because um, we have our problem is that Min Lee has been caught by the king. That is part of the problem. Um, so make sure you have this underlined and we're going to keep going for the second part. Your Majesty, Your Majesty! A chorus of voices came through the air toward them and Min Lee could see a parade of servants in the distance running across the zigzag bridge. Well, you mustn't be caught by them, the king said to Min Lee. Then they will find out about my little adventures and then where will we be? And he pulled Min Lee up to her feet and pushed her behind one of the giant gnarled stone carvings, kicking his rags over her. Quickly, quickly, he said, and don't say a word. I command you not to say a word or to come out until I say so. We will stop right there because we have the second part of the problem. And in box three, we will write, Min Lee gets caught by the king and, she tells her to, and he tells her to hide so that he doesn't get caught by the palace servant. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the quote. And you could write down this quote right here. Caught, Min Lee heard him say. And then I would write down the last part that says, And by you, he said, my little benefactor, I, kn I knew you were a clever one. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready to keep reading. I'm going to continue reading as she clutched the rough stone in the middle of page 129. Min Lee clutched the rough stone and made herself as small as possible. Hundreds of footsteps were approaching like falling rain from a thunderstorm. What is this? the king demanded. Has war been declared on the city? Your majesty, an out-of-breath voice said. We've been searching for you. Searching for me? the king said. I've been here in the garden for hours. We... We must have missed you, the voice stuttered. None could find you. The guards had not seen you, and we feared. You feared the king of the city of bright moonlight had been spirited away, the king laughed. Turn the page. Now, not this time, Counselor Chu. However, I do feel the wish to commune with the moon tonight. Your majesty, the voice said. Yes, the king said decisively. Tonight I wish to be alone in the garden with the moon. Have a meal brought to me in the cl clasping moon pavilion, and do not disturb me until morning. Yes, your majesty, the voice said, and Min Lee couldn't help but peek out. She saw rows and rows of finely dressed people kneeling with their heads to the ground in front of the king. Their rich silk clothing shimmered in the fading sunlight. One man, dressed in black, kneeled closer to the king, separate from the rest of the courtiers. Min Lee guessed he was Counselor Chu. Actually, bring me two meals, the king said, and glanced toward Min Lee. She caught his eye and quickly shrank back out of sight. Two meals, your majesty, the Counselor Chu asked, with just a faintest question in his voice. Yes, two meals, the king said. I shall honor the spirit of the moon with her own meal. Since she will be keeping me company, it's only fair. Yes, your majesty, the Counselor said. And Min Lee could only guess how puzzled he was, but he was well trained enough to keep it out of his voice. 
In an hour's time, the king said, I shall be at the clasping the moon pavilion. I want the food waiting for me and nothing else. I do not wish to be disturbed by anyone this evening. Yes, your majesty, the voice said again, and Min Lee could hear the shuffling and swishing of silk as the group rose and took leave of the king. They've gone, the king said in a low voice. You can come out now. Min Lee crawled out from behind the sculpture. Well, my little friend, he said to her, now that you know who I am, come walk with me and tell me who you are. All right, and we would underline that last part because we have the solution. And in box four, we would write, the king orders his servants to bring him two meals and not to disturb him until morning. Then he and Min Lee go for a walk so that he can get to know her. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the quote. And for the quote, we would write down this last sentence that says, Well, my little friend, he said to her, Now that you know who I am, come walk with me and tell me who you are. Press pause to write down the quote and play when you're ready for the paragraph. And for the paragraph, we want to know what challenge did Min Lee face and how did Min Lee respond to the challenge. And so you should talk about how Min Lee um, chased the king because she's trying to get the borrowed wine um, and how he, um, instead of, you know, being mean to her, he was actually really nice and he wants to get to know her.